what might be considered as germane to the bond between vision and thought is that as visual information is absorbed it is retained in its own holding chamber stored in an internalized integrated free range visual hard drive it is stored there but it remains to be seen whether or when my conscious mind will access this information and accept its role as translator of the stored library of visual data for some a near constant stream of visual input might erase information previously stored for me visual data accumulates yes repeated exposure to specifics such as the kitchen may curry favor and typically i lose access to discrete details of transitory visual events such as their compositional details but i gain access to the visual marinade developing in my mind the density of which accumulates and as it does gains traction mass and structure the marinade gradually becomes palatable dense and concrete as it acquires verbal attributes it mutates from the ether of optical input into its verbal cousin a successful translation occurs as it is transformed from a gaseous format into one with verbal solidity a visual reporter can accumulate information documenting decay harmful destruction squalor and document such decay with the intent or ambition to transform harmful conditions their ambition may be misguided if the world in which they function ignores or withholds information about the impact of vision on thought or harbors misconceptions about vision's role in an individual's universe or shares complicity in the harm perpetrated by vision's truncated vocabulary of meaning as yet there is no prescription to remedy the harm as the setting where the basic fundamentals of one of the body's primary attributes is so poorly understood there is no commiserate prescription to remedy the harm generated by collective forms of visual atrophy reports of squalor might instead succeed at perpetuating harm by documenting its ordinariness or eliciting self-comforting nimbistic comparison i think the consequences of visual ignorance are pretty universal playing its hand in many parts of the world a great deal of attention is paid to teaching the young to read right and travel about on a playground but what of teaching individuals how to see how to use the instrument attached to the brain an instrument assumed to be as benign as a pair of lungs or serviceable like a pumping heart such thinking demeans the brilliant activity of vision as an intelligent stethoscope intent on gathering data from the physical world without which the equally brilliant verbal core of our being would starve for lack of fuel is possible that overcoming this omission could heal the human community in ways both large and small and why not if macro images microscopic views of the inside of a flower depicting the universe of butterflies 
can convincingly correlate with some of the largest masses known in the universe. Why not expand a microscopic thought to transform the world we create for each other?